there. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's that's why I catch them. Yeah, I'm just here there every now and then. I've had bacon in my bag, and I never put it in my fucking refrigerator. Luckily, bacon's <laughs> good forever. I mean, bacon this is not good man, forever. This is the man yeah. who is just constipated. Yeah. Okay. I know the best. Oh. I think Poison's going to be very, very ill come next week. <laughs> He's going to eat that bacon. Something bad's going to happen. How long was it there? Um. Well, I went to it on Tuesday. So, no, it wasn't Tuesday. <laughs> oh, oh that, that's really good I, I love the accurate information you're giving about this I, I, I think you may not Monday. want to have that bacon I got it in your one system day. I, I did buy it, I didn't steal it, it was I Monday. assumed it was two days ago no it was it was Monday that was three I wouldn't <laughs> it's going in the freezer has your back <laughs> the, the freezer doesn't help has your backpack been in a really cool location? I don't mean like physically uh, cool looking. Yeah. I mean like really I mean, the cool. The floor right next to my desk is actually very cool. It was just covered <laughs> by like other bags uh, of not put away stuff. Like here's some tropical punch, some vitamin water. I would probably smell that first before eating it. <laughs> uh, you'll notice when you're cooking, it'll smell like rancid. Okay. So, by the way, just to reconfirm, uh, we were okay to stop with 14 because 15. 15, 15. 14. You yeah, said 14. Yeah, was, said no, 14. 15's filler. It doesn't matter. Yeah, because yeah. 15, I kind of skimmed. I was like, yeah, this is kind of bull. I'm not going to. No, it's just it's just retelling. So, I might as well do this right now because we're, we're already talking about it. But uh, the big issue with that filler thing that always happened is, from what I've been told, is that the studio initially had a plan because they were spending so much time working on each episode making them look good mm -hmm. they uh, spent an excessive amount of time doing that and they realized that the studio needed to fill in four extra episodes because they wanted to hit a full run time yeah, you they know didn't what, have what, anything for that you know what I don't believe that so China. they just put in those because it is actually a confusing story to follow from start to finish what um one, they never, ever, ever animated the switch between wolf and human. There wasn't one. Um, yeah, I know. There, there was no. There literally is. It's isn't not, a, a, it's not a transformation. I know it's, it's not, but here's the thing. Uh, we'll get to that stone when it comes. I have a stress. Point. That that literally comes episode one. Yeah, where yeah. it's. Okay, so we can take it as though now if you want. Yeah, no, you guys say what you want with that episode one. Okay, it's gonna be so quite a rank. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay. this, my thing with episode this, one it introduced a great, interesting world with a very generic storyline and below average characters. That's what episode um, one is. The only thing I, I like the characters read it, and I don't think mm -hmm. you picked this up because I know English mm -hmm. voice actors a little bit. Um, but the main guy is the guy who voiced Lelouch. Kiba. Ah. Yep, Kiba voiced, uh -huh. was voiced by the same guy who voiced Lelouch. Doesn't and mean I like the character. And I the like smell the voice guy. Actor. And the smell guy mm -hmm. was the person who voiced Kai mm -hmm. in Digimon. Yeah. So here's what okay. my head jumped through. Oh, uh -huh. Lelouch. Guess what? I want to go watch. Uh, Fucking code oh, man. I want to go watch. You, I want to go watch something funny or something good. I no. And then I learned his name was. Kiba. You could watch. So then I looked a Naruto bridge. I was like, wow. And then I saw Ty, and I was like, Digimon bridge. I got. To, I got my plan. There you go. You got your direction of entertainment to actually watch. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Well, I. I see what side you're on on this. this <laughs> Look, my issue with the show is a very niche show. I am nowhere near that niche. I am okay. nowhere near. <laughs> I, I was going to be I, a part of that. I am not near that damn niche. So uh, here's the thing: I liked some of the messages. I I liked the 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 dude, um, the investigator dude, the blue. Okay. Liked him. Yeah, he was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, favorite episode is probably thirteen. Okay. Just him and that other dude in the car. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I agree. Those two are actually my favorite characters. Yeah. And they, I, 
I like them bouncing off each other. Yeah, no, yeah. No, they they, they are definitely really good characters. You know, the old man, like, I, I wish his story had more to it than that, that really basic story. You know? Yeah. I mean, my house burnt down, my family died, and I think... Somehow I wolves saw started a wolf. fire. I think I saw a wolf. Hey, wolf. you know what? Let and some... Up. Okay. For some reason, the wolves exist on two planes, a world they can see and the world they can't, but they still mm. jump like a wolf. But can you still use their hands to pick up things? They don't use their very, hands. Very situation. They do use their hands. They use no, they their don't. Mouth. They, the they do. Is, when no, they, they don't. Use, they use their mouth. They, they use no, their they mouth. don't. The problem is, why is there never drool on anything they grab? That and then what's their head in the, the human it's form? It's just what's an their illusion. Head? It's an illusion. That's the part. That's not real. There not is, the that's, that doesn't exist. Another that. wolf punched him in the head, and it yeah. hurt. And also, yeah, they that get was what shot that was as in, in the chest, and it mm. shoots the wolf when the wolf is four feet under where the bullet was. I know. Yeah, this that's, is that's, the, the, that, that's the only thing I got mad about. No, that's Chesa. Uh, you're talking about when Chesa gets shot. When Chesa gets shot, at and he shoots yeah, he jumps up orb. into it. Yeah. Is what that's supposed to be. Yeah, but no, my thing is they never explain. They, they don't show it, so it just looks like he magically got shot. Yeah, because you just see the... And the bullet yeah. would have missed Chesa anyways. I mean... Eh. <laughs> also, lasers are not their favorite thing to animate, I guess. What are you talking about? They look fine. Mm -hmm. Reddit. Do you have a specific episode? Yeah. Do you have a, do you have a point? <laughs> yeah, well, we'll get to that. We're talking about episode one right now. I do. Well, this seems like a bit of a... We're jumping, yeah, we're around, jumping around. around. All right. We're already jumping around out of anger. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm just like, yeah, we're jumping around. In all back. honesty, like, episode one through three just pretty much introduced the main cast. Like, yeah. A it lot didn't really. It's like, Howard, a lot really. Um, Femboy. It introduced. Um, He's talking who? He's talking about the kid wolf. Tobaway is a child. Tobaway, who's a child, yeah. and he looks up and he's innocent. He's not like a fanboy. A fan he's, boy. He's just childish. No, when him he's and a kid. kid when him and the uh, flower chick were standing right next to each other, I'm like, wow, he looks so much better than the flower chick. I think that says more about you than it does about me. Yeah, right? <laughs> I, I, I think you're really defending him. You, like, you like little boys poison? Do we, do nah. we need, I got some cookies somewhere. Mm. I could, Would you like Is a cookie? Santa Claus <laughs> reference? No. Oh. All well, the references is... <laughs> You should have said it's the last name Spacey. But poison, that's a that's a actually a decent point. Chez is not supposed to look attractive, she's supposed to look beautiful. No. She's not intended to look attractive. She's meant to look like a flower. No, she isn't that's the whole point like of it. She's meant to look innocent. Yeah. Uh, again though, no, I did like when they were running away and they just did like that twenty second ass shot on her. Like the yeah. only sexual feature they have on her, and they just sat there, just zoomed on it for like twenty seconds, and I'm like, that is a lot of a not of ass. Y'all need to really point out episodes because I, I don't no remember the episodes because I don't remember that scene. And yeah, like when they were running away in the military, right before the military attacked them, right before the soldiers yeah. attacked them, like around episode ten ish. Nah, it's more nine ish. Around, I said ten ish was when uh, they stole her. Seven. Hold on, I have it in my somewhere, house. somewhere around there. But then the military attacked them, you know. And she, she, she came home, and she's like, "Everyone, look! I brought him! I brought him!" And she's like, "Oh, everybody's gone. Oh, oh, everyone's yeah, still happy. Happy. Just You're long. here." And then she gets super happy again. Hey, but like right when they walked in that friends. room, they just yeah, did yeah, like. A pan in like on her ass and just stood there. Not twenty seconds, but long enough to notice like why they just zoomed in on this. Why is sexualizing the only slightly sexualized thing she has like that bad? I mean, <laughs> I, I I'm didn't... skimming into it. Hold on. <laughs> so we get really on how it's structured. Let's just talk about the characters for a bit. Hold on, I'm showing something. Okay. Let me, let me go to this I don't think that's a pan of the ass. I think that's just a shot of her in the room. I, I don't. Her ass is like half the screen, though. Her ass um, is a lot of that damn screen. Uh, 
Maybe I was just so bored. It, something, I just, it just caught my eye. Like, why? why Maybe you were just focusing too much on that, cause I, I, I don't really. No, there was a scene uh, where it was closer. There was a scene where it was closer on it. I think you're trying to derive something from something you found incredibly boring. And there's a scene where I needed to sits find down. some entertainment, but, but but overall, the characters. I don't like Kiba as a character. I don't either. He's I, not meant to. He's meant to be the leader, and what it is is that leaders are supposed well, to be meant like they're. Yeah. They go. They touch on it when you get to the other guy. I they're know. supposed to be impartial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And that's why they all he innately be follow him, because he's the one with them. He's the one that's most and, impartial. And then literally in what was it episode? What was it? Oh, twelve or thirteen, where he just he leaves everybody. Along. Because they, yeah, for his they primary all focus. massively said, hey, we don't want to die in the cold. Let's wait till morning because that makes sense. He, he, he knew the storm fall. already died out because he's been the one that's been outside the longest. Going. Yeah, but he what he knew was it was dying out because he was the one that was out the longest. In the... No, Remember, he, he not, walked there he did not, alone. No, no, no. He did not know the storm was out. He was just obsessed with Cheza. It just couldn't no, the storm was out was because when you, get to the, when you get to the fort or whatever that was, the castle... It was, there was no snow. Yeah, we don't it know how snowing. long it took to get there, though. That's yeah, the, that um, also was like, bro, it wasn't that long. Morning. 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 The other guys caught up really quick. That was like so. morning. Yeah, because they didn't have to do it in the snow. Yeah, they could just run properly rather than having to walk through a snowstorm. So they but Kiva's already time. the most, like, when you're talking about endurance, Kiva's probably the strongest one anyways, because he's yeah, the one that yeah. spent the but most time he's actually. still running through a snowstorm. That's going to slow you down no matter They're how They're also hyper-powered, though, so, like... Yeah, so they can jump, they can bounce 50 feet in the air. Yes, yes, but they have trouble biting and holding on to a small little kid. Mm-hmm. No, he was just shocked. He was just shocked and dropped him. That's what the, was. the, the the kid was shocked. The kid was so shocked and screamed so and yelled and screamed at Sume and so let go Tomoe of the hold when he didn't. Him? No, he, Sume, had... he let go and no, he lets go because he's shocked that the kid is screaming at him because he's. For those who don't understand, Shadow likes didn't the series. Think the kid would scream when he him. bit into his shoulder. He didn't bite that deep, though. Oh, he was just, it, it was just a thing. There, there were still marks after the kid's been dead for an extended period of time. That's a decently yeah. sized bite. Okay. But again... Sume forgot he was a wolf for a minute. That's what happened. He was, he was around humans for yeah, so long, he forgot what he was. That's an important thing, being a wolf. Well, I mean, when you're in a city for your, almost your whole life. Yeah. Like, he has no opportunity. He just went to help and forgot. <coughs> so that kind of happened. How, how does he forget he's a wolf when he's always ah. walking around as a wolf? I like, know. Just because we see a human does... doesn't mean he is actually in a human form. He's still no, walking he's... around as a wolf. <laughs> he's walking around that with human the entire time, though. Had, he never ever He had didn't think he was going to react that way when he bit. Did that system's never okay, fully so, explained in so, itself. So then, tell him away, he just is an idiot. It's what you're saying. I mean, the he is just a lord. Yeah, no, he's he's a dumb kid. I. I... <laughs> it's like a it's like a cat that brings its owner its bird. It's like this is your bird, or a dog that gets like if you have a rabbit and it gets out in the house, you're not supposed you well, don't do we, that because the dog you tries to chase that the thing. thing. Actually, happened in the show, right? Yeah. Yeah, when he kills the bird. Yeah. Because he's and trying then, to grab it. And the yeah. only way he can grab things is with his teeth. Mm -hmm. And he bites it a little bit too hard because birds are weak and pathetic and die if you have cooked with the wrong pan. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, let's just say the transformation, or the lack of thereof, the... There is some, no transformation poison. I there know. Is no, there's never it's a transformation. It's an illusion. It's just an illusion. It's very they're clear always, that there's never human. They always yeah, I say know that it's very clear they're never human. human. But Shadow, they get punched in the face and it still hurts. If yes, a wolf yes, punches another wolf, wolf in the face, it's like getting the fist. Of course he does. They're so into their illusions. But why they do they eat the with their mouths if their mouths are the hands? Ow. They ate a hot dog. Yeah. The, the, the bigger question is, what were they holding the hot dog with? 
I know. know. This is never explained, and it's dumb. Uh, because it doesn't really need to be, because you're just supposed to assume <laughs> what happened. You're just supposed to accept it? It's it's, it's something yeah. I didn't want to take the time to explain. Full because time it magister, doesn't... there was magic. Why was there magic? Code yeah. Geos. There's Geoses. Why are there Geoses? Because it's packed with okay. God. It's explained. You can make one I wish, mean... and the wishes are very specific. In full time and magister, the main are character lost limited. 12 years, so he didn't know what the fuck happened in the past either, so how could he tell us? Those shows exp at least explain their they, premise a whole they, lot This is the same they... thing, but it's... <laughs> No, no, no. It, it well, does it explain why they can turn into why they have illusions. It's not, not just. Not the, it is. They're not illusions, though. They not are illusions. 14. Later on, they have maybe. illusions. It explains why they're illusions. No, no, no. Darcia they, talks they about said, it. They said, yeah, no. They talk about. It. They said they create the ability to make illusions because they were hunted and feared by the humans. Yeah, no, that was earlier. That was like. <laughs> that's that's the only explanation we got in fourteen. No, you okay? This is like super late. Yeah, but I knew we were talking this was about later come. on. Okay, so we don't. So know. no, no, no. So we can do it now. The end. So okay. Darcy's mm -hmm. whole thing. You know how he's mm -hmm. cursed by paradise, and there's the whole curse of paradise. Yeah, and he has the yeah. wolf fight. Mm -hmm. His mm -hmm. family created the wolves. His ancestors created the wolves. That's what it's saying. They created the Book of the Moon. They created mm -hmm. the prophecy. The nobles have hypertech. They they blew up and destroyed the world in their wars. They created yeah. the wolves at some point, and also genetically enhanced themselves. That's why Darcy is so has those literal stand powers yeah he has silver chariot requiem in his eye kind of he just has that... the ability to put people to sleep they genetically enhance themselves to get a lead on other lords and nobles and also created a prophecy it's just that the other things didn't really work out so they kind of went on the back burner and went on hold the wolves eventually got out for whatever reason because they're more violent but the plant chick can't leave because she's not strong she's not even durable she's just a <laughs> plant if she's away from the water for too long, she literally just dies in a couple hours. And also, if she's in X amount of full moon, she also supposedly dies. Yeah, because not all because plants. No, if she's in a if she blooms fully, she dies because she well, shows the way to paradise. They said, did he say? He said she has three full moons left. She has three full moons because her life is really short. When yeah. she's in that liquid, she they, she can live a lot longer. It's why it's why the withered plant was dying so weird, which is actually kind of it's. So you can you can remain stationary and not do anything and like root into the ground or you can leave and plants <laughs> die very quickly once they're uprooted is kind of the thing mm -hmm. there's a heavy there's it's heavily she is a plant but basically Darcy created Darcy's family created all this and they created their own problem the reason Darcy's family was wiped out was mm -hmm. because all the other nobles were really fucking scared about the random superpowers they had <laughs> However, mm. it's genetic manipulation, and eventually something goes wrong, aka the Curse of Paradise, where all of a sudden people just start passing out for no reason and weird shit starts happening. No, their soul gets taken by Paradise, and that's why he wanted to find it's, Paradise. That's his whole yeah, motivation. Yeah, he's trying to go to Paradise because he yeah. thinks Paradise is going to solve it, He thinks solve finding it, but it's Paradise not. will cure his love. And I'm going to point this out. Not. Darcia isn't the one who did this. It's yeah, his I ancestors think. that did that. Yeah. Hundreds Before and hundreds now. of years ago mm -hmm. that did this. Yeah. He yeah. just knows the stories yeah, because yeah. he's lived in the family. He knows a bit more about it than everyone else, but he doesn't know a whole ton. He still <laughs> stuff still gets vague over the years. It's like and if like trailer, like if your grandpa's sitting there the in. whole time, sitting there going like, if the wolves go to paradise, everything's gonna end, and we're gonna go to paradise. It could just be you can extrude any number of things from that, because all he has is the notings that you can go to paradise. They don't know what it does, but it's paradise. And they don't know what the hell's in paradise. Because yeah. like the other wolf said, paradise could literally be. So hell. he's just pulling at straws of like, I this could be paradise of mm -hmm. like I get to be with my love again. That's paradise. Yeah, yeah. that's what he's assuming. See, that's like that and the episode thirteen and the uh, guy out for revenge are like the three things mm -hmm. I liked in the series. Um, so far, yeah. <laughs> and I like the theme where it was kind of shown during the um, uh, the what do you call it? the town arc. Where they yeah. go to that town. The Wolf where Town? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where yeah. it's shown that if you uh, lose your passion, you basically uh, become a husk of what you used to be. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You're saying about the other the other, the other yeah. pack. The it's shown wolf. in the other pack. And uh, the thing where uh, once you get to where you want, you don't know what it's going to be like. 
Mm-hmm. Those are two themes I like. Oh, this is good. I, I like that now. Um, and no, the no, old dude. The messages, is awesome. the messages of the show are good. Yeah, it's okay. just that they brings up good good questions, but the characters are bad. I think the pacing's kind of meh. You know, I, I feel like they dragged some things out they shouldn't have, and I felt like and then they Snake kind of Lady came out with Romod they... Art Knights. Yeah, and they what? burst through some shit. Was it but... Snake Lady? I thought it was Snake Lady, right? What are you talking about? Snake about Lady only course? does one thing. Oh, okay, you see Snake know. Lady, and you see that she's in the Noble's cart that's in the Inertial City, and mm-hmm. then she gives the detective information on where to go. It's like follow the Nobles. Uh, she's thought, what she says. I thought she was more important. Do we know who has the black? No, box? she's not important. She's just a person who works there. Yeah, she just worked with his wife. Okay. She actually. No, she works with that. the lords. That's why he's coming. She... To her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the girl who woman. pretended to be his girlfriend to mm-hmm. get him away from the dude. Oh, that's not Snake Lady. No, I know that's not Snake Lady. Yeah. That's just something he worked with. Or she, yeah, that's somebody she worked with, yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> I'll say some parts I, I, I was, mm-hmm. I was, it was kind of a chore to watch. Um, some parts. I mean, like, oh, God. One like of the, the parts, parts where like... he just kept leaving for an episode. Oh, those parts. Oh, what do you mean? Um, when they were first left the city, and he was like, oh, "I'm done with this. I'm I'm a badass." You mean like, Tom away just walks away? Yeah, like and just leaves the group for a bit, and then Tom goes after him. You mean Sume, 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 Sume where he walks off? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's because he's the uh, he's the runner up for the pack leader. Yeah, so if Kiba wasn't the leader, Sume would have been. So yeah. Sume acting as an ex pack leader, immediately becoming a follower. He wasn't a big fan of that. And also, he literally he didn't like being around people because of literally what just happened to him, where his own his people he's running with for 10 years plus is... Literally, the dude comes up to him and says, Nah, because we wanted to... We we ran off on you, but we got caught, so we're taking you down with us. It's literally what he says. If we're going to get caught, we're going to bring you down too. Yeah. yeah. He says, why should you be the only one to get away? Yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's why he doesn't like it. It makes it very specific why he doesn't want to be with anybody, especially I know, at that but moment. he's he's just Edge Lord. You know he's just Edge Lord. I know he's just Edge Lord. I mean, at the time, it Edgelord. wasn't that Edge Lord wasn't even a thing. He was just like a. Well, we have the archetype now, and he fits like the fucking glove. <laughs> eh. The only reason he's wearing tight leather is because they didn't want to animate the flowing. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want they needed one like... character that didn't flow everywhere, and they picked one. <laughs> Literally, all the other wolves have long, flowing objects. He's the only one that doesn't. And apparently, uh, he is a, a ladies wolf. What? Um, like, they showed three scenes of him, and now he's like the playboy guy Ooh. of the group. The playboy? He's gay. He gay. He yeah, gay. that's what I said. Yeah, okay, I thought you were talking about... It's Tome, though. Like, no, so, no, yeah, we were talking about like, Sume. What? Yeah, I was no, confused. Like, no. you just kind of like randomly changed and didn't say who you were jumping to. So, no, yeah, no, no. Off. Yeah, no. I, I was. I'm looking at the picture and I looked at him and I'm like, I was he the play wolf of the group. What? Yeah. Why? Because he's the he, only one who's got. He's the only one that's interested in girls. I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah Kiba's 100 percent fixated on Chesa. A girl. Sume's Sume's fixated on being. In a pack and having a, pa- mm-hmm. a purpose instead of not having a purpose for the entirety of his life. Toboy is just trying to exist. Mm-hmm. Because let's be real, he does, he wouldn't do very well on his own. Mm-hmm. And everyone always points that out. And Hige is kind of just a loner who could do his own shit, but doesn't. Yeah, he smells he likes things. being with Kiba. He smells things. Super nice. don't, don't give no, that very important tubby. part of his character. No, the, the more important part of his character is that he's tub tub. He doesn't even look that fat. Yeah, he is. Look at the, him compared to the others. He's like twice as big. I can't tell if that's like the bag. His physique isn't actually that much wider than Yeah, Keith. I, I thought that was just his baggy That's, that's, invi- that's just uh, the baggy clothes. Illusion. I thought that was just nah, his he's baggy like, He's illusion like 10, 20 pounds body. bigger than everyone because he's been eating city food the whole time constantly. Uh, I can kind of see him when he's in his wolf form. Yeah, you can but see No, you don't. He does, he's not really that fat when he's a human. No. He's not fat when he's human. Yeah, that's, that's why he has a hoodie though when he's human. Because that's what they're ninety percent in, even when they're all wolves, or when they're all wolves together. Mm-hmm. They still show the humans. Mm-hmm. 
Also, ah, I'm not getting it back into that one. Because if anybody was watching them, because they know they're going to be followed. What, what's but, more weird, seeing a girl sitting around four wolves when you're like, Hey, that's the flower maiden. <laughs> She's sitting by four wolves. But most that's not good. It's more, like. it's more ignorable people, when they're in humans. Most people don't even know who the flower maiden is. So you yeah. know well, I mean the people who are hunting them. Yeah. They also have pictures of her. She doesn't just, like walk by the soldiers and they never see her. Yes, they do. No. Yes, no, they she, do. She walks by the girl and she's not looking. She walks she's by looking blue. In another direction and then sees Kiba. No, she doesn't even walk by blue. What she does? No, she is... walks by Kiba. It's no, when you, it's when Kiba's walking with Chesa. Yeah. And, you know, and in she the notices middle of Kiba. the fucking like one way road, and they I guess we're just looking straight and nowhere but straight. And do cross cool. right next to each other. I mean, have I mean I've been to I've been to college. I've walked through entire hallways of people have said hi to me and me not notice. Yeah, but you weren't on a top <laughs> secret mission to find someone, and they passed right next to you. Oh, well, she probably wasn't assuming him to walk literally right next to them. <laughs> it's that's so not what you would do. And she just kind of was using her peripherals and saw pink with the hood and stuff, I and know, just assumed. Dumb. But then the moment Kiba realized, she noticed face. he bolted. Face invisible wolf face up. Uh, no, not not going back in that wolf. Mm. Um. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's it's. So I guess we're kind of like where they found her. So I I kind of like. We're the, nowhere. We're nowhere. You've been jumping this entire yeah. time. I know I have. <laughs> we're talking about the characters. If we're talking and about now, we're talking about the flower at, chick. Where we're at. We're at like episode two. Them leaving the city. <laughs> yeah. Again, but now, nothing we're talking about, about the, in the characters. The city. Nothing yeah. happens in the fucking city of value. Okay, besides uh, you met the characters. No, you, all the characters get introduced. Yeah. Besides episode, you introduced though. to the characters, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, hey, so uh, you, gotta, you gotta see a uh, good portion of the uh, the hunter. I don't know his name. Papa. That's what Blue calls him. Yeah. Yeah. His name is Gramps. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Gramps. Gramps is not his name, but he calls that's him Yeah, that's, that's what we go by. The best part of the show. Yeah, I won't argue that. Um, so now let's talk about, uh, the, uh, Siesta. That's what I called what? her. What? I called her Siesta the whole time. Name's it's Chesa. Way, it's, it's way more memorable than Siesta. Chesa. Siesta. No. Siesta. Come here. Come here. <laughs> but, um, I, the only, like, she's, she's purposely bland. Yeah, she's well, meant she to be the emotional be, lead. She's not meant to be a character lead. Literally... Locked away her whole entire life. She has no personality. Yeah, yeah I know. I that's know. why she's the emotional lead. That's she's why I'm. Sa- that's why I said that straight out, and that's why I'm not gonna mm-hmm. judge. She's her. My, she is literally my least favorite character in the entire show, though. Um, she, she does nothing likable. Really. Yeah, she's not yes, a character. She's an emotional lead. That's a double-edged sword because she does nothing you hate either. So she so give me the full-time magicer excuse, okay? Exactly. exactly. Oh, don't you give me that shit. All right. Like, <laughs> there's there's battle, nothing right? to really like about her, but there's nothing to hate either. All right. Um, because nothing bad happens doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> sometimes, as a blessing, you have to take. But sometimes, the, I don't have the to one great scene from her is when she jumped out of the airplane. She fell like a, a flower. That, I I give them that. That was funny. We ain't going into how she lived, but yes, that was funny. No, she lived because she floated she's down. A, she's because she's, she's a flower. Because oh. that apparently doesn't mean she weighs as much as a flower. Though. No, she weighs she weighs like nothing. She, she no, it's rude. why he's able to pick her up one-handed without even any effort. Constantly, well, he is also super, and she gets tossed around constantly. Super strong. Like also, if you see, all the wolves have superhuman strength. Mm-hmm. And also, also he princess carries her strong. one time. How does he princess carry her when he's a wolf? Awesome. Also, Even issue here. Back. We have the we have the um the cave scene. If you want to talk about that, her not weighing anything, where Kiba's carrying her, and then he gets on Tomoe's ass, saying, "You think you can carry her?" Because yeah. Tomoe can't, because he's a weakling. She's a flower. We just he jumps over crazy. buildings. Yeah, I know, but he's Sume, but Sume, Sume is worried that Tomoe would get scared or startled or some shit and drop him, because he has constantly. Remember earlier when he's sitting that when they're in the alley and the and he gets uh, constantly has and Tobaway just keeps freezing all the yeah. time and people have to tell him to do shit because he's 
gets stunned. That's yeah, what he's worried he's, about more than anything. Because he's a scaredy wolf. Because he knows that he's not going to be able to do the right thing when the time comes. Yeah. I'd trust but, Sume or Hige in that position any time over Toboe. <laughs> by the way, I like how this one's going... Uh, the complete tone shift from the first episode. This first episode, we were all kind of like together. The second, this one, you're just defending this series with all no, your No, the show keeps a very consistent trend the entire time. Yeah, it's a very niche show. As I said, it's not it's, my niche. It's incredibly niche. It's why yeah. it's why I'm very incredible. I'm almost unbelievably disappointed that both of you didn't like it. I was kind of hoping one of you would kind of like it. But I already I, knew I, I you weren't going to like it. Like it. it. I said I liked it. I already knew Reddit wasn't going to like it, specifically because Final Fantasy XV, when Ignis gets hurt, and I was there in the party, and I was I thought that was an amazing <laughs> oh, scene, oh, and yeah. Reddit is just sitting there shit-talking Ignis the entire time, hating him, getting pissed off, yeah. yelling at him, the and it's like... Did he want to come along when he knew he was going to be useless? <laughs> okay, and it's very, okay, spe- and it's very specifically... value at this point? And I Why knew... I knew you weren't going to like it. When the world yeah. is in danger and about to die. Okay, my best right hopes for you was that you were going to think it was fine. That was uh, my absolute best no, hope. I said I didn't hate it. I just no, said... that was my best hope for Reddit. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh that, that shit pissed me off in 15. But that's another thing for later. Uh, no, no, we are not doing the Final Fantasy 15 one. <laughs> Wrong, sir. <laughs> There's, there actually they are. They there's have an actually an anime. In a movie, they have an though, anime. There's movie a movie, about. but it's not great. No, there's it's an just, anime. It's just kind of like a cutscene. They made like an anime series. Yeah. They made an anime series. That, that yeah, doesn't exist. Because, Brotherhood. Yeah, to explain the story. Mm. Yeah. People who don't know anything about the, the five people who don't want to buy the game, they can still get the story. But yeah. yeah. But uh, if you pull that out, I'm I'm going to use my veto. <laughs> It's only um, like six episodes. It's really short. I don't care. It'd actually be like the easiest one to do. Uh, I don't care. Okay, but um, so what about me, Shadow? You said you want Reddit. I was best. kind of hoping. I was kind of hoping you were gonna get into it because the problem with the Wolf's Reign is that because it's so unbelievably niche, and we're not done with it yet, so there's still oh, no, possibility that it's gonna change. But I really doubt Reddit's gonna change his opinion. I, uh, you thing, might, I want that, um, that but I don't think you will. Illusion. It's the illusion part that gets me. That yeah, that's one of the niches. That that's one of the thing. Not a niche. That's one of the things that some people get stuck on. Yeah, and that's what I and got if you stuck. can't get past that, you have much harder of an issue of getting into it because it's supposed <laughs> to just be an assumed. And if your brain's constantly stuck on that, there's nothing wrong with your brain getting stuck on it, but you're gonna have a ho- much harder time getting into literally anything else that they're doing, See, and it makes I'll- all those scenes worse. See, my also thing is they never had a clear enemy. No, well, initially it's supposed to be Darcy as the antagonist, yeah. but then you find out that he's not actually the antagonist. Doesn't even care. Actually wants them to go to paradise to a degree, just when they're supposed to go to paradise. Yeah. But then his wife dies, <laughs> his uh, lover dies. I don't know if it's actually and his wife. He and he just goes berserk, which is one of the better scenes and better episodes of the entire show. Uh, it's 12, 14. I believe. 14. No, that's oh, 12. you're talking about when he it's banged 12. his head. You're talking about when he banged No, no, I'm saying that whole episode has tons of shit happening in it. Yeah. Why is For instance, my favorite chair? character, Blue, my girl, my fucking girl. Hey, I got... Oh, that's God really damn, a better character about Blue, who was introduced way too damn much. I liked before. her when she was a dog. Okay. My like girl, her. Blue. You have like pictures her. saved. Okay. I had I like pictures saved. I had them ready. I like her on My girl. I liked her as a wolf. I liked her as the person. I liked one her as a dog. That actually has a personality. Because yeah, she's one of those that isn't just meant to be Pack. Her part. and Hige are the only two characters I and like. And the again, guy. those are the two characters. Well, Sume does have personality. He just doesn't have one you like. Uh, he's just yeah, no, edge Yeah. Toboe yeah, is no. too young to really have a strong personality. No, Hige absolutely. is too focused. Yeah. And well, Hige no, is the only. So you have Hige scary. and Blue are the only two wolves who have actually lived their lives. Yeah. Like, those are well, the only two that have actually done anything. Sume has, but you just don't like his. Yeah. So. No, I don't, don't like him. I agree. No, that's right. No, uh, but he was meant to be bland. He's meant to be 100% solely focused on Cheza. Yeah, and that, that, which is that's which is why you get the emotional connection when he's like when everyone else got knocked out by the by the hypertech immediately, and mm-hmm. he's still trying to fight and he's literally bleeding out, and she's like, "No, you need to stop." That's yeah, what it's no, supposed to be. But, he's supposed to be the no. counterpart. He's supposed to be a blind follower of Cheza. Yeah, that's what he's supposed is, to do because he has not nothing a good else in his life. Design. And that might be his character design, but if I design a bridge to 
fall and it falls, that doesn't mean, oh yeah, it did what it was supposed to do. No, I think that's fine. I think if, you're I if your character is 100% focused, as long as he remains that focused, I don't have an issue. Because even when they knew how to get to Paradise, remember, even when they knew how to get to Paradise, Kiba, and all of them wanted to leave Cheza. Kiba was the one that said, no, we're going for Cheza. We're not going for Paradise. We're getting Cheza and we're bringing Cheza to Paradise. It makes no sense because his goal is to go to Paradise. No, his goal is to Cheza. He's, his goal is to find the flower he man. He changed his goal afterwards. His main goal to whole first No, Cheza leads to, to paradise, paradise still, though. Yeah, Cheza still leads to, to Paradise. The first thing you hear him say is, all I hear in my head is, it's go to paradise. Buying paradise. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and so and Cheza becomes. Focus. Remember when all of them see what paradise is, and she's petting all of them because they're all asleep. Toboy is dreaming about his grandmother. Sume is out hunting. He gays with a bunch of female wolves, getting his game on. And Kiba is literally right there with Cheza. His paradise yeah. changed. He got to paradise. He wants to stay with paradise. That's his only goal, is to get to paradise, and he's already there in his mind. He's already there in paradise. That's the whole point. But when Cheza keeps getting taken, that's why he's also. I don't fun. like the the sudden character shift from episode like I think it's like one, two, and then three. So first, keep was like, "You fucking coward! Why are you hiding your, oh, yeah. lose your pride?" <laughs> yeah. And then he was like, "Well, your pride is useless if you die." And then he's like, "Eh, makes sense." Good point. He's like, "Good point." No, he actually agrees that that's a good point. After... And then when Tatsu, this is my one favorite scene for Tatsu. He calls him out and shit. He's like, "Didn't what you the say fuck is Toboe?" Toboe is the only Sume or Toboe. You mean Sume when Sume calls him out when he runs into I, I don't like Sume. these names because I, I I define them by their character. Kiba meets him again. He turns around. He calls him out. So what are you doing? I thought you said, and he's like brought up that he insulted him. And the only human. thing that would have made it better if he snapped his fingers and twirled his head. <laughs> I, I I agree with boys completely here in a weird way, but I agree. <laughs> uh, that would have gave him character, and I would have loved that. If he was just like a sassy generic bitch. Generic black girl? <laughs> yeah. If he no, was just a generic I, black girl. It'd be, it'd be better than what he is. Which is just edgelord. And my friends wanted to kill me. Mm, I'm edgy. <laughs> But, um, can we talk about my favorite character now? The best character? The old man? Yeah. And Grandpa Awesome? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you got to say about The first time him? you see him. The first time mm -hmm. you see him. He's got his coat <laughs> on. He's got his hat on. he got his rifle out. And you're like, wow, this guy's a badass. That's a character intro. And I mean, then... Kiba's first thing is he rips two people's throats out. That you actually right. see, him. but then you get to meet him, and then he's just like not the cool guy. And then you meet, and then you meet Grandpa, and you realize he's a drunk alcoholic who's crazy. You realize he's the best. He's an alcoholic right? who's crazy, you and is absolutely one thousand percent obsessed me. on a stupid concept. Revenge. Um, truthfully, if he believes wolves killed his family, I I can back that law, that yeah. that motivation. Now I don't I'm, understand how he I, thinks wolves started a fire, but hey. Yeah. I don't understand that part, but I understand his motivations, and I can relate to that. Maybe they started him with their invisible if somebody, hands. If someone murdered my family, and I think this person did it, I could be on the same page as somebody killing that son of a bitch. So why don't you like? So why don't you like Sume, considering his he let his family die and hates his life now, but all of a sudden you like the old man? No, because, because the old man actually has other things going for. Him. He's funny when he's drunk. His character react interactions between the girl and the guy, mainly the detective, are just funny. I actually got a laugh out of them. Uh, like he was just uh, he, after he took the pill and they were just like fixing the car and he's like, "You said this had some side effects. I'm pissing the fucking river here." <laughs> actually, that was the only time I laughed at this whole entire thing. Like, cause he was pissing the whole entire time they were talking. It was hilarious. He was actually, yeah. It was it was the best thing. I, I that's why I like him. He actually had other. He wasn't just like, oh, I'm I'm just angry. He isn't like every, he isn't like keyboard. Anytime he comes on screen saying I need to kill the wolves, wasn't the only thing he ever said. Actually, yeah. it felt. I mean, it's it, not literally. It, it, the only he said thing. it a lot. But he here's the thing: he has actual character development through the fact that now he knows 
His, he was always hiding the fact I mean, that he kind of knew do develop. red was blue was part wolf. Like he yeah, always and now he has to debate in his head, do I kill my loyal companion, the only person and left and of my memory? No, he doesn't debate that. Family. He doesn't debate that. He just doesn't do it. He had a clear shot on he, blue. Yeah, and he, and he was, never took it. He no, had he this was, psychological process. And even after he, knowing, he... He had to make a decision know. still. He just wasn't... that. We weren't there when he made that decision. We weren't in his head as he was thinking about it. But the second he pointed his gun at Blue, he had to make a decision. Am I going to kill Blue? Because Blue is... Because he blue. also shot at Blue, if you remember. He did shoot, but he didn't hit her. Yes. Yeah. Kind of as a warning to go and get out of here. Yeah. And he has his dark moment where he... <laughs> Uh, revenge filled his life, and he just left Blue bleeding on the road. Mm -hmm. And he regrets that moment, and that thrives his character development. And which he is why he's his pack behind because he's too focused on Chezza. Yeah. Wait, what? No, no, what? Yes, he believes the pack behind because they're lagging behind, and he goes to Chezza when she's Yeah, in the but castle. he never second guesses his decision. He, he never doesn't. thinks Blindly that was a bad no, he never he does. Never. No, he does not. No, Maybe in what we haven't seen yet. Yeah. He never shown any type of conflict mentally about it at all in the no, whole No, Kiva and Sume do show conflict mentally about what they do and how they act. They do develop as characters. Kiva and Sume, the, so Kima, Hige's always, Hige doesn't have sharp enough teeth and doesn't like killing people. Yeah. That's just his thing. He doesn't, he, he doesn't like using goes. his teeth too much. He goes non-lethal. Toboy doesn't really fight. He can, but he doesn't really fight because he can't really hold his own very well. Sume and He's Kiba in the beginning child. are very. You're telling a child to go into a gunfight with his teeth. Of he course. He could do that. He could do it. He just wouldn't do very well. Well, that's why they keep him back. Mm -hmm. That's why they. That's literally what I said, Reddit. Also, if they're so going to have coward, what? paralyzed by everything, they should have shown that a little bit more. They do. As in, as in I know. Well, I'm pretty sure Shadow when Blue, Blue, when Blue and the old man I even run into Kiba, being more scared. And then you were like, they do show him being more scared. Yeah, and he does. Well, I want like, more they show that. of that character. You want him to be pissing his pants in every situation? I want Not him every... pissing his pants in a lot of other situations. But like in the very, in all the fights, he's always the one staying back. He knows... He knows you not to get in. He knows that he's not. Yeah, he's the kid, and they're keeping him back. Yeah, that's the point. His role, yeah. which is fine. But no, I'm talking about like in character interactions. I want him to be scared more. Like Why? He's, because that's his character arc. When they're talking with the wolves, he's telling them to let's just go. He's trying to get the, his pack out of there. Yeah, but when that happens because like... he doesn't want to get into a conflict. He's like, let's leave. No, I get this is like a, a very serious uh, character, but he, he, he never works through it though. In the things we saw, Toby? like or this is why I don't are you like about? Uh, fanboy. This is why I don't like us doing just this part of the series because we don't know if they develop further. I mean, Tobaway doesn't really. To, they they all change, but it's a change you're not expecting. I can't really go in on it. Yeah, exactly. But like, but that's why I don't like doing these. Well, if we things. did more of the series, it would be too. Con there would be too much to talk about because there are. That'd be yeah. We, you just there, there's up, really up. this is this is not like full time magister where we can hit a couple points. This is a lot like you might think that there's not a whole lot, but we've been talking for a really long time already. Fifty six. Just minutes. on the characters, we haven't even really started on the episodes and the progression. Yeah, because like, you're sending them like they're. Yeah, I'm not. I'm really actually mad. been sitting here. Most of this is y'all talking. I can scroll through my audio, dude. Like yeah. I'm well, actually silent for most of it. I feel like I've been silent for most of it, other than the talk on no. the badass old grandpa. Because <laughs> I because I already know where my whole thing is, is that I'm letting y'all work out. Now where was I with Sumi and Kiba? Oh yeah, uh, so they're actually lethal in the beginning. Like all their all their attacks are kills. They're always wound, maim, or kill consistently. But once they meet Cheza, Kiba almost Kiba slows back a bit. And he calms down, and Sume follows his lead and also calms down. They are changing. Yeah, they do have but, character development. They're becoming not less lethal, yeah, but what less necessary, and more avoiding of conflict. caused them to become less lethal? Because it's just her presence. Yeah, but it's just why? It's a calming state of the They never go walls. through these emotions with us. Yeah, they, they just, do. like... Uh, just, those emotions, you just see the They do. They fall emotions. asleep, she gets happy, and remember, and they all fall asleep next to her. Because she's yeah. happy and she wants to rest. And it's all the others just instantaneously, like, say, oh, wow, why am I tired? What the fuck? And they all just curl up next to her. So they show that they trust her enough to... No, she, she has an effect over them. 
So they showed yeah. her drugging. Okay. Well, no, because that's how they're designed. They're designed to. They're designed around the the maiden. That's the whole point. That's what Darcy's family did. Yeah, but it's it's most of it's just Darcy. Never been explained to us. Like, like, yeah, it does. They very specifically state that Darcy had created. Darcy's family did this whole story. Yeah, they created they it. They were the origins. They had many lines talking about that. Now this is in episode fourteen, to like thirteen. So I, I get why Reddit not thirteen. Thirteen is the best episode. Um, twelve. Uh, Reddit probably wasn't paying attention very much, and I don't blame it. That's why I uh, recommended not binging, but uh, I didn't those. binge. Hmm. I binge like the last five episodes yesterday. Yeah, I, I spaced it out a bit, but it's just just I just I just couldn't get into it. No, that's just my biggest issue. Man. Yeah. I'm just going to be a hundred percent honest. This show it, has not here's the pros yet. about it. I like. Um, I like. I like very- the world. I love the world. Uh, I, I think love the, the world needs more color. World. I know it's supposed to be. The, the world's I not like supposed to. Ha- it's it's literally I, I supposed to be a world. Supposed to, but I can't. I, I, I can't dislike. I love that about it. Yeah. I love that that they did that. I love the darker world. It shows the end of days coming. The 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 world fits with the story. I give them. Yeah, I, I get that, but I I still can dislike. I just you definitely can. I'm just saying. I'm saying personally, I like that part of it. I like the world. I. Uh, again, like the thing to carry me through the world is something I didn't like. The characters, I didn't like the character. Except the so, grandpa. The character's like a secondary character, though. That's the issue. He has a few episodes and moments of goodness. And then he brings in not... uh, Shadow's waifu. Yes, mm-hmm. he does bring her in. I'm but... rid of that. I'd fuck that pooch. <laughs> I mean, the dog. <laughs> Because he technically, he's always. It dumb. would be the dog. That would just be an illusion. I'd be yeah. fucking the dog. You, you, uh, you, let's you, not let's you, not cut corners. Yeah, you would just have her bent over for twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, no, up, up, or Literally. with the paws up in the air. Either or. Which could be missionary. Which yeah. doesn't <laughs> make no sense when your dick's down there and your hands are up here. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. It, let's not get snide on this again. I, I don't like talking about this. It doesn't make very much sense. Blah, blah, blah. I've already right. made this point. Yes, we both have, yes. The, the illusions are dumb. Blah, blah, blah. Um, mm. So now let's just talk about the like the structure of like how the story progressed. I'm waiting for y'all to get your stuff done before I go into it. No. We're no, you can go it. on. No, keep going. That's the point. I, I, I felt like y'all were both of the same opinion. So I'm gonna let y'all speak There was a bit at the beginning, first. and there was a bit at the end, and the middle was just them getting from point A to point B. But the story didn't really progress with them. Uh, I I'll disagree on that point. I feel As like I, the the um the wolves turning into basically uh dogs was a cool scene. Yeah, that was towards that was like in the later half of the show though. There was still yeah, that was, that was like no. that was about um, half. Hold on. No, that was middle. That was actually dead was middle from what we watched. That was, that was six yeah, or seven. Like, yeah, yeah, that was like in the middle. That was a short part. That again, that didn't really like advance the story. That was just something to kind of get you by. That didn't yeah. advance the story in any way. That just introduced you to no, the five, six, and seven was how they were trying to conflict and enough. introduce you to the concept of a pack. Yeah, yeah. Which I, I don't know. I didn't feel like that really moved the story. Like it introduced you to what they're doing. And gave you a better understanding of what they are. As a group. I feel like it's kind of like a precursor, like theme. Like this is what those uh, who have come before us and their failings. Yeah, no, it is. I just felt like a lot happened at the beginning to get them to all leave the town. Then the middle stuff happens, but not a lot of value that really means anything in the end. Okay, because Kiba already shows he doesn't care about the pack. All right, the pack means almost nothing to him. He's already willing to abandon them. All right, so that devalued that whole concept. All right, so that kind of invalidated that whole part of the story. And not completely end, abandoned. Yeah, he knows that they could catch up. Well, I, I'll go with Shadow. But on this it's one. not like he doesn't want to be the pack leader. Yeah. Like, and that he even says like, we're a pack without a leader. Yeah. So he the fact that they follow leader. him is just and, he doesn't want that. And the fact that they try to force leadership core qualities on him—that's a problem I have too. Mm-hmm. Like, I guess it's supposed to be, shout out, correct me if I'm wrong, um, like, he's the natural-born leader. Mm-hmm. Like, everything comes naturally to him. Yeah, he's the alpha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, it, I don't know, I would like to see some some reasoning. 
like why he's because he's like, always the loner. You, he you always know. acted independently. He never thought he's about like, anybody I'll else ever. So he's just natural at it. That's why he's the lead. He, and he's also the most physically like in a fight. Sume and Kiba are pretty equal. But like when you're talking about physical endurance, Kiba wins by miles. I don't been, know. Um, Kiba was uh, injured, and he still holded his own against uh, Edgelord. Kiba was injured and was fighting Sume, but Sume wasn't really going to kill in that fight. Yeah, it was just kind of like, oh, you mangy mutt. You need to know the rules of the city. And he's like, what rules? Yeah. Yeah. Because like you can see that Kiba's the most. Endurance, anyways, because when all the other when the whole pack gets attacked by Darcy and he takes uh, Chesa, all the others get knocked out instantly after one beam, and he still gets up after like two or three. I think it's two. Uh, he he kind of takes a recoil from one yeah. with the explosion, and then I guess the others take a direct hit. Like that's that point they did lasers good. The 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 ship flying segment I thought that looked very choppy. What do you mean by the ship flying? Um, oh, well, that's like, like overhead that's to like the island. <laughs> yeah, where yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it just felt like it. The, I think that's like, a bit more you don't like how the art style visually, looked. The visual, the visual, how the ship contrasted with the thing. It didn't look like it was actually in the world. Uh, it's kind of like um, Berserk. Not Berserk. Um, it, like when a. I don't. I'm trying to think of a show where it's like 2D and then suddenly it's 3D for some reason. So it's, <laughs> uh, there's a couple shows like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and it, it kind of just breaks your like, oh, this is the art style. Oh, okay, now it's this. I guess it's because there's a reason. There, there would technically be a reason for it, but it's not. Like, it's just you don't like it, right? And, and that's fine. There's also, nothing wrong. I'm not saying let's shit. Fire a shit warning shot. Instantly full barrage. <laughs> no, but they know that it's a noble ship. He's not gonna die in one shot. I know, know but that. still, a warning shot. Yeah, but again, again, it's a noble every ship. Every gun we have. Send yeah. every gun we have for the warning barrage. Again, though, it's a noble ship. They know I, it's I not know, but it's, they get, That's what they get for either bad translation or not saying, send out the warning barrage. I just, I... Uh, I don't see that at all. I just see that they knew they wouldn't hit it. They knew they wouldn't kill it because it is a noble ship. <laughs> it's all, they're tracking. Like, and he would have sent a signal to immediately stop the moment that they fired. I know. Like, he had no intention to stop, so they kept firing. <laughs> it's still, they fired a lot of tracking lasers. Usually with yeah. a warning shot, you fire it to clearly miss. And with him consistently dodging every single one of them and not sending a signal to anything. Because, by the yeah. way, the ship's automated. He's not controlling well, it. I know, but here's the thing. Um, my thing with the warning shot is you don't usually, like, fire a minigun. You usually stop, wait for the reaction, then continue. It's, it, that's nitpicking to the nth degree, and I will stop now. Because to me, that, that just seems like you're firing a warning shot at a tank, and you fire, you, so you shoot your pistol at the tank. <laughs> Like what? What's the point going on? Uh, there? No, you won't I even notice. Thousand pistol at the tanks. Would it really matter? Yeah, would the yeah. tank driver depends on where you shot the pistols. I, I mean, if you shot the pistols from inside the tank against the guy's head. <laughs> oh yeah, no, then yes, but that could have been the same concept with them. They would have fired a warning barrage inside his ship. I mean, they were. Where are you going? You I don't know where this is going. You would have uh, gotten the point. There was kind of an argument semantics. Um. <laughs> okay, so the first three episodes. Uh, I, they were doing okay. They, it did its purpose. I knew all the characters. I knew who I liked. I knew who they. Um, uh, I personally like the dogs. Uh, the the town arc. I like that little arc. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was very sad when the old man died. Even though we got none of his character, other than he was an old man. He was an old man in a graveyard. Yes, digging yeah. literally <laughs> digging his own grave. Yes. Yeah. That that that's. It shows kind of like more of like their way of life rather than his character, mm -hmm. where they they know like I'm gonna die tomorrow, or so I need to dig my own grave. They're just working. They're working themselves to death for no true purpose. They've lost their purpose. Yes. Yeah, I, I like that arc. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, yeah. Reasons. I'm just, I'm, being quiet over, here. I literally went over this early. We went over this earlier. I know. I'm just, just later on, in the whole, I felt like kind of Kiba invalidated. Like Kiba right invalidates now. the whole process later on through his personality. Yeah. His character invalidates the whole arc. I felt like. 
Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. By literally becoming the guy who he literally gave shit. He's just literally the biggest but hypocrite. I think they could have done No, that, he just but... he just knows that like the pack is gonna follow when they follow. Yeah, but he I, does I, he I doesn't need like, to doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't want to hug them. Make it hypocritical back. though. It doesn't change that. Well he's no, he's gonna abandon the pack for a moment, but he's he still knows they're gonna follow. I mean Sume's not they're not all gonna die all of a sudden. The only reason that they had to stop is because Blue isn't that. as strong they, as them. They were being pursued by the army. And they didn't know that they stopped. They were in the forest of death when they stopped. Huh? No, I'm talking about no, the, the ghost owl. That no, that's be, that's before. No, that's before. Oh, is that before? That's before. Yeah. Oh. The, the what the the snow thing is literally at the very end. Yeah, and they they don't know if the army's still chasing them. So he literally left his pack with the op, the, the option of them being chased down by the army. He gave would have smelled it. They would have ran. So I. I it doesn't change what he did, though. They're all yeah. capable. I mean, yeah, no, he's intended to be a bit of a dick there. That's the point. Yeah, but he's, he's supposed to be a dick, but he knows that they're not all going to die because he leaves them. Yeah, what I think they should have shown is him rejecting the leadership role a whole lot more. Like, he does it, like, three or four times. Uh, like, two in the same scene. Uh, you so run this up before, but I'm going to interject here, is that the problem with that is that you would immediately turn the show into something that I hate, where it focuses too much on subjects that don't need to be addressed to me. I well, feel it's, like it's a thirty. Like the whole dog arc in the middle was a whole subject that literally ended up being. No, that was them. That was them seeing how other, where other wolves do, in the live. There was a bunch of stuff going on there. There was other wolves. You were getting a bit of he gave. They were still all developing because that's really early still, in the show. I mean, consider that's still like the first fourth. Uh, and that was, I mean, if you take most episodes. other yeah, shows, so was, they can take a long was, time. That to was develop after. Characters. That was after the, the the little robot attack on Toba Way and Sume. Yes, I understand. Yeah. By yeah. the way, that robot was awesome. That yeah. robot was fucking awesome. That I love that Grant. Awesome. I named it. It, Grant it, it felt like it was like its own personality. It, it felt like it had more mm. personality than most of the main cast. Um, <laughs> 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 because it was like just this lone operative out in the wasteland. And shoots from inside. It was a robot the that got knocked into under rubble, and over the years, the rubble degraded, and then a mine set it off again. Yeah. There was no personality there. It's just a killing it, machine. It, but it had. It showed like cool personality, though. It showed like it's a action, robot. Sadly, yeah. that robot's action still showed more personality in some of the cast. I can't disagree more, but go on. Uh, well, let's rephrase this. From what we've seen. I think this is why we should watch uh, the whole entire... Even, even with from what we've seen. Uh, okay, let me phrase this. We like the personality of the robot better. Um, I don't think I say I like the personality of the robot. It just goes more to how much I didn't like most of the cast. Yeah, hey, hey there's that blessing again. <laughs> a siesta. It's better not to find something to hate in some of these characters. But I, I guess, And now let's go to... Um, so we just talked about the dog arc. Uh, now it's the forest arc, uh, where they find uh, episode. Siesta. Episode. Uh, like episode eight ish, I think. It's a single episode. Uh, it's uh nine. Nine. No, 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 yeah, nine is when uh, Blue starts awakening her wolf side. Yeah, when Chesa meets Blue and wakes her up. Yeah. He tells her she's part wolf. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which I, I like. Like, I, I'll give you that. Blue is also a good, great character. Mm -hmm. Where she's fighting her domestic side most of the time through. Kind of like what uh, Tose does. Which, I, I, now thinking about that, I guess he has that kind of personality. Where he's just fighting his domestic side. The he whole never really time. does... They just, just basically, it's just Sume makes fun of him saying you were domesticated. He even makes a joke at him and Blue at the same time. Yeah, but it, it, I think it's um with Blue. It, it never the reason really... why it hits harder is because she constantly has to face that domestication in the uh, personality of Papa. Mm -hmm. Like, in Papa. Like, she wants to go back to her life. So she has the same qualities as Papa, but she has a different result. Um, which I kind of, I really like. You know, I don't have an issue with blue. 
Yeah, Blue's a, Blue's a, uh, we saw for like four episodes, right, Joe? Yeah, towards the end, yeah. I think he came uh, in nine as, a, nine as a wolf when he first five appeared. Five or six, the, yeah. No, it was yeah. nine as a wolf. But not no, from when, she, well, from when she starts. No, nine isn't when she starts. Twelve. Twelve is when she appears uh, as a Twelve is when she becomes, she or, or, actually joins in the In her back. illusion form, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, all we see is like three guys up on a girl and then she just bites one of them. Yeah. Which was a great character in show. <laughs> you could kind of see that like in, um, uh, kind of like one of those uh, character intros to like uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. No, not Fighters. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Eh, never mind. Fuck it. Oh, no, it's kind of like the intro where after she bit, you could kind of see her name just blue, all stylized. You can do the same with Kiva in his intro, too. Yeah. Uh, well, his intro was him falling down almost dead. Well, that was that was that, the, the first the thing show. we saw. <laughs> that was, yeah, I know that was Brutally the setup honest. of the show, though. <laughs> Just but his real intro is when he first meets him with Sume, because that's the yeah. actual moment you actually get to see him. But yeah, that's the setup of the show. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's and she's the only like she's the uh, if I had to rank characters, it'd be old man, detective, detective's wife, uh, and then Blue. Um. Because I think all the human characters have great um, character uh, stories. Where they all kind of go through, like, trying to figure out what wolves and how are wolves real, debating that in their heads, um, coming to each of their conclusions by themselves. Because they don't really have, other than, like, Papa, uh, have the realization all by themselves. Which I, I found really cool. I liked all the human progressions. I think they had the most character of, other than... No, oh, my phone died? No, I'm kidding. No, no. <laughs> I was just making sure that, like, 10%. Mm. But, yeah, I, I loved all the human interactions. That's why, that's why I liked the human parts. I wish there was more human parts in there. Because mm. I liked their personalities. I think their stories were done well. I don't know why they still called each other uh she calls him hubu but mm. um, yeah good it's his nickname yeah it's I mean, like that's literally his nickname it's a short version of the name i think uh, i just called him detective. Like... um but yeah i love blues in- interaction where you kind of see early in the uh the series that she's part wolf from her interaction with uh edgy as mm-hmm. lord where he's just like a good one, where it's kids. He kind of like saying it, like she's also a wolf. Mm-hmm. And you can kind of see Papa's like, oh, uh, it's it's kind of a wolf. She's kind of a wolf because she he just abandons her to go do her own things. Again, so I think that was just more of just like. Oh, you can kind of like with knowledge of later, you can kind of see the reception. Well, well, not even that. The, the knowledge of later, I think, at that moment, he that's why, like, he looked at Blue and he was like, "Just, just hold it together. I'll be right back." Because of just how blind he is to getting revenge. That yeah. was just showing how much he was. No, no, I'm talking about like revenge. when he when um he was with the cops and he just ran mm-hmm. with the cops and couldn't control Blue, so he just let go of Blue. Hmm. Like kind of mm. like that, where he's just like, you know what? I'm not gonna trust this wolf. And I'm just going to go with uh, uh, everyone else. No, I think, again, now it's just his, his nearsightedness because he already knew a wolf was in that direction because he just saw yeah. one with his own eyes that he well, was chasing no, he after. Was drunk. He, was, he was pissed drunk. Does he that also matter? Doesn't, he him? also doesn't care that if he's drunk. Yeah. He fires a gun on tons of people. Yeah, but I, I that's the thing. My favorite characters were the humans, the side characters. Mm-hmm. Kind of the opposite of a uh, full-time Magistar. Mm. All right, mm. so I'm going to stop <laughs> looping you because you've said, like, the same thing four times now. Oh, but is there anything else you want to talk about before I start uh, going off? The few points I had got covered in more. You can All go right. ahead and you can start talking, man. Okay. So starting from episode one, I absolutely love the world. It's probably my favorite thing about it is how close the world is to blowing up it's kind of like majora's mask in a bit where like literally the moon is coming in 
mm-hmm. and people I like know. How Goldman made that reference too. That was great. When yeah. Goldman made that the reference. moon's coming in and it's about mm-hmm. to blow up, but everyone just doesn't care and they're trying to ignore it. Yeah, because it's not it's really, really fucking... like they can't do anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you kind yeah. of have Fallout ish tech. It's, it's like really close more. to Fallout in terms of tech level at points. Like the common tech is around Fallout because it's mm-hmm. Jeeps and Humvees for the most part and, and like random uh, and Beatles and shit. Coverage. But then, no, no, I'm getting there. But then all of a sudden okay. you go to the nobles, and the nobles who are the higher up society have this hyper tech available. Yeah. Which are just of, eons sure. beyond everybody else's technology, even if they have giant war machines and shit. It doesn't matter. They're just way, way above that. And, I, and that depends technology. on Lord the Lord, too, because Jargris is sitting there with, like, these ultra soldiers, <laughs> and everyone else doesn't really have that. Yeah. I don't know if I should hold off or not. Yeah, what are my I'd biggest. One of my biggest problems with the show is that it's four by three, yeah, which pisses me off because I think, because I think even you can say that the show does look unbelievably beautiful at points. Like at the points, artists yeah. really worked their asses off. You don't yeah. like the lasers. I, I do not like the lasers. The and time. that but, seems to be the. And is that your only thing you didn't like about the appearance? Um, the lasers. I didn't like. See, I, I feel like I'm numb to this design. I just want to see other things because of Dark Souls and how much I played of it. It's very reminiscent in my book to Dark Souls, not Dark Souls 1, but like Dark Souls 3, where everything's kind of like gray, not really a lot of color other than the bar scenes. But other than that, I, I get what theme it's going for, and I really, like, I get all the detail they put into it. Like, uh, when the women, uh, the woman went to uh, root herself, and, like, she died, uh, mm-hmm. all of, like, that was beautifully done. Like I, I see their the walk uh, the walk the work they did and it was it's just amazing, like the fur on the wolves, the way they animated everybody's clothing move constantly when it's windy yeah. out looks and great. When um uh Kiva gets damaged uh, in the uh, crossfire, all his little mm-hmm. like they're not like just red scar huffed. Yeah. yeah. You- you can see where the blood is. It's bloody, the matted, and stuff. It does yeah, no, I can great. I can see where they the, all the effort they put in. I see the art. The art. They, they put a little to less effort in the, the, the lion sequence. But other than that, yeah, it was beautifully like drawn. I just didn't like my, some of my favorite scenes are when they're in the initial city and you have this crazy infrastructure with pipes literally everywhere, and it's rumbled. It's collapsing. It's not really sound. Yeah. And it's broken up, and the pipe... I, my favorite thing is when they're... When the girl who finds Tobaway again, mm-hmm. and that scares the shit out of Tobaway, because uh, he sees her, and then she goes berserk on him and says, it's a wolf, kill it! It's a wolf, somebody come quick, help me, please, we gotta kill the, this. And he breaks Tobaway. That's probably one of the most best scenes, because, like, artistically, because when she's running by... When they meet on that walkway, it looks fucking gorgeous. The gor- the walkway, the pipe design, the in- design of the infrastructure looks amazing. It looks so yeah. great. Uh, and that's why I'm so disappointed that it's 4x3. Oh, I think it's a chance nothing. to shine. I'm sorry, I was really? going to nitpick again. Sorry, continue. About what? Um, how he had to concentrate to get his illusion up. Who? Um, Tobey, he had to concentrate yeah, to get his yeah. illusion up. Yeah, yeah. Now they have to actually concentrate to do it. I know they have to choose, but... You have to make an effort to do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, continue. Uh, I know. I oh, yeah, Top Boy was episode two. Yeah. Yeah, Chesa, Chesa breaks out. You're introduced to Darcia. You're introduced to all this st- stuff. I like Darcia. I like the detective. The detective is probably one of my favorite characters because of his relationship with his wife. Yeah. Because that is an incredibly realistic relationship. It's one of the most realistic relationships in anime period of, well, we like each other and we still do love each other. But for this reason, we just can't, Mm -hmm. it did not work out. But we still do love each other. It's just, we can't be around each other. Yeah, and that just doesn't work. In the bar scene, too, when he pissed drunk and it's hilarious. No, and he starts breaking down and he starts crying about it. And and the old man's like, like, oh, shit. Oh, when the man should never be married. Just like you, yeah. you can feel like that's something they would say when they're pissed drunk, because they're both family men. Mm-hmm. Like he, the detective and the wife are probably two of my favorite characters in the, in the show, especially up to this point. While well, Blue beats it, but that's because I'm a fanboy for Blue, because I love her design and human form. You mean fangirl? You fanboy. You're fangirl. 
<laughs> yeah, fangirl. I'd be a fangirl for Blue, yeah, totally. <laughs> blue fucks you. <laughs> that looked a little weird as a wolf, but you know. <laughs> um, okay, you know continue. What? A strap on fits the same either way. Is, is this where you got your name, by the way, Shadow? No. From Blue? Nowhere even close. Well, these aren't wolves. Yeah, they are. No, no they aren't. They're, They're again, created by Darcia. They look like wolves. wolves. But that could have just they're been somebody wolves, in the Darcy family. Yeah, I, I know, but it's they're not wolves. Wolves can't jump up mountains and shit. They don't have illusions. This isn't a, this isn't nature turning against. It's Darcy's family. It's hypertech that the lords have. I, I know. Again, I, but we've been on. You're stuck on. I get it. Yeah. I, I'm stuck on that point. Continue. Uh, the other reason. I was able. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Four, so I'm not super four is a great episode too, where it's uh that's the one where the it they shows probably. why the world's destroyed. Yeah. And it's like, if you live a couple miles out of the city, there's minefields everywhere. There's literally piles of skulls just epic sitting robot, around, which is Terminator-esque. Which is Terminator-esque. There's the robot. There's a the unbelievably strong robot that after all this time, after all this de degrading, it's and literally everything about the robot is a weapon. There's not a <laughs> single part of that robot that isn't designed not to kill. You can yep. see how far... The world came and got and why it got so fucked up is because yeah. when you're at that point where we have war bots like that it's basically just over humans can't that compete anymore like they're just like epic commandos yeah because well no well no normally in a you would assume in the fight like that was just left behind they thought it was destroyed because it was crushed on the rubble whatever reason it rebuilt yeah it. but he still like by the way speaking of cloth physics he still has his like cloth physics yeah he, he has, has the cloth like, around his cannon yeah yeah, the cloth around his cannon, which was used probably as camo. Um, no, no, that, I think that was just rubble. I th no, I think that you would be used as like, I think it would be smarter for it to be camo. Okay. <laughs> he, they might have been. They might have been a camo variant, but again, like you would have had hundreds of those in an army. You yeah. wouldn't just had one. Well, you, you would don't have know a couple if you hundred have of those. those. You probably could have had a different variant. That might not be the front line. Yeah, no, but no, we, but that's semantics. No. Continue. Well, I have to look through all this stuff now. Oh, Five has probably one of the best intros. Um, because it's uh, Tobaway's dream. And they're taught. It's the relationship. It's these moments that make the wolves for me. It's like where Tobaway's just sitting there and he's like, and you know what? They were all lunar flowers. And Sumi's immediately like, shut the fuck up. You don't even know what lunar flowers look like. And then he's like, but Kiba never says. And just, I wanted them to be lunar flowers. And Kiba just looks and smiles when they ask, what are lunar fires actually? Because even he doesn't know. He's just been chasing them. The whole time. So what I love that. The intro, the music. Oh yeah, another thing. The music stray, is probably... Stray, stray. Probably the best, one of the best parts about the show. Is that the music is... They spend so much time setting up the world. That yeah. like the music mm -hmm. is great. The artistic quality well, is great. Sounds Everything sounds that's artistic good. is amazing in this show. Stray, yeah, I'm not. I'm actually not the biggest fan of Stray. Yeah, I I, I listened to it once. It's it like I said, um, that shows. I think the quality of the intro. If I listen to it more than once, mm -hmm. like Attack on Titans, One Punch Man. Um, no, those are just hype. Those are hype. That those are hype, and that's one way to. That's make all it they try hype. to do, though. Is they just try to hype you up. They don't really do much. Yeah, and it's super hype. It works. It does the job. Yeah. <laughs> And it makes me listen to it more than once. Are you the frail? No, we are the hunters. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the English version. Continue. But this, again, isn't a hype show, though. It's not intended to. I'm getting the I know, briefly. but it... That's like, that would be a completely tonal... I know. That would explode the tone. Yeah. But for everything. I... I... <laughs> it's still fun. It's still, like... It's not a song I'm going to listen to more than once. And that's not uh, a bad thing. I listen to it a couple times. It's just it's, not my favorite That's just not his job. It's not to be meant to listen more than once. The, well, intros are initially intended for, like, weeks apart, too. Yeah. But well, you don't have to listen to it back to back to back to back to back. Well, I'm talking. Well, I'm, I'm speaking about the intro, remember. I'm speaking about Toboy's Dream, the intro to the episode. By not the, way, the intro the, to the show. Oh, okay. The intro, by the way, was um, set in a modern city. Not yeah, the, the cool ones that they're in. Dystopian city. No, it's the ones that they're in. No, they're not. They have water. Yeah, it's it's that. the ones that they're in. And it's it's based in the watch cities that they're in. 
Yeah, no, it is. Oh, I didn't, I, I, there's I, certain parts of the city that look like that, and there's certain parts that don't. Hold oh, on. I didn't see them. Okay, continue. Uh, hold on. I'm, I'm looking at I'm looking at big titty girl that Darcy likes. Hold on. What? <laughs> yeah, no, those different. are just different. That I can't really go into, the, but that's like that's those those exist. Yeah, that's why I'm saying like this is our experiment. Well, the problem is we're at like an hour sixteen, and I'm just getting. To I know it so you're hard. gonna have to break it up into parts. That's yeah, and this one, this show doesn't really have arcs. The arcs are too short. Yeah, so you'd have to do. So it all fifteen the way was, through. but the fourteen was probably the best possible stop we could have ever had. Yeah. Because it's right after Jargus' death. I mean, Darcia's death. Jargus takes Chesla. Hey, spoilers. No, we all watched fourteen. <laughs> I did too. Yeah. But it's Darcy like blows himself more. up because he's, he's dead inside. Yeah, but then we're getting to that. We'll, we'll get to that. City Life. Yeah. Um, City Life was good. Uh, I didn't really have... City of Life? No, the City Life, where they're living in the city oh, briefly. Okay. The town arc. It's... I, I, I don't... To me... High point. To me, the best... It follows the trend of the show, and I'll get to that very briefly. But the, one of the best parts about that is how grim everything is and how grim everything is in the world. I, there's only one female in that pack. Yeah. And... They all got to reproduce. There's them. a really big problem with that, considering how she's kind of dis distant. She doesn't really pay much attention. Even he, even uh, Hebe says he's kind of, she's kind of lonely. Yeah. And those are usually signs of somebody who doesn't want to be living right now, but is kind of just doing it. It's It might not have been intended... But the message it sends off is yeah, like, like bad shit's happening in this city and it just slavery. kind of is left to happen. Yeah. So that's kind of, that's, that's, uh, that goes into the theme for you. Well, the villain's backstory is episode seven where you meet up and then you meet up with Cheza very briefly after they escape for the military and then they follow into, no, they go to the city first and they meet up with the withered flower. Yep. Who then dies, follows in. Nine is the episode of Blue where they're dealing with the city where they have one of the better scenes. Uh, yeah, that was a Cheza petting all of them and when they're asleep. And the shit talk that Kiba gives Sume where he's... Ki is Sume sitting there laying down, sleeping. He's like, yeah, you were drooling. <laughs> I didn't want to wake you, I tried. You wouldn't wake up and he's like, hey, shut up, I was tired. And he just kind of leaves. Was, I loved that whole scene. That scene was great. Yeah. Everything about that. When you see all their par dreams of paradise, Kiba's was heartwarming because he's like, oh, he's already at paradise. Aww. He That's just basically Chess's main outfit, by the way. The pink boots and the pink overshirt. Yeah, uh, I can kind of see that from the, yeah. the startup. Forced yeah. to Death with the Cave of Bugs is really... Yeah, I kinda... really... I really like the Force of Death, considering that there's an yeah there's a ghost there's a ghost of an owl who died a traumatic death probably and then you have probably eaten by bugs yeah after being dehydrated and finding trying to go someplace yeah, yeah. and it's just well it's kind of implied he's eaten everything by bugs, and the, the fact that the owl is vindictive after he died is one of my favorite things that he's not helpful he's not good he's trying to kill them because he's yeah. a vindictive spirit. He doesn't like that he died. He hates it. And he's he wants everyone owl. else to die, too. He's a mean And then you have Chesla with her one real... Well, with one of her case, few moments. Did you, uh, wait, he just probably just knows... No, no, continue. Then you have Chesla with one of her few moments where she's like, I want to help, too. And runs down and shows, like, oh, no, they were telling me that they were hungry. And you and then they get to get out because the bugs aren't going to go near those vine traps. They're just not... They're not going to go by the Venus traps, so... They get out of the Cave of Blow... Bugs, but then the theme of the show, which I don't think either of you actually picked up on, where the theme of the show is so intended to be cataclysmic depression. At no point ever is it ever supposed to be happy for an extended period of time. All good things are instantly followed by a much worse thing if you watch the show. Oh, it's immediate. Every slightly good well, thing. Well, we did watch the show. Comes mm -hmm. out is immediately followed by a. T by a horrifying by way, thing or something that's much worse. I completely forgot about this scene, and I'll give you something. That point, they actually showed like a pack. Yeah, like, they still character the development when they're in the water. Like I got a hit yeah. Final Fantasy 15's uh, characters, and I was like, "Wow, this is really cool." They actually have like character, and then they just 
Exactly. Um, something great happened and then it's much worse. Um, it went with the theme. Okay, continue. So, it's supposed to be so. De- it's supposed to be so depressing constantly. Like the the, the point. It's the intent. Oh, uh, the supposed characters to were constantly- depressing. This is more, this is, you're, yeah, you can make a joke out of this, but that's actually the <laughs> point of it. I know what you're doing, but. I, 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 I'm glad. It's the point. It's, uh, it's, we're out of the cave. We're not dying. Chezza's, now we have the one moment where we're a bit happy, and because we had a pretty happy moment. Darcy shows up literally the next episode, takes Chezza, takes Chezza and almost kills all of them. They're all Why depressed. They're about to jump into paradise. They're all depressed. Darcy, then, this even goes to very to Darcy too, where he gets Chezza and his plan's gonna work, but then he realizes that Lady Jargris killed his wife and just throws everything to, to a pot. It's intended to be, for every up that every character gets, they get a much worse down. The old man starts getting closer and closer to the wolves, Blue ends up turning, Blue ends up getting fucked over, and he loses Blue. It's supposed to be, like, even when the hub reunites with his wife, he has a moment, then the, there's one scene in between where they have a brief argument. But then the very next scene isn't like we're getting in a car, oh, who's this? Like a normal conversation. It's the moment where they both get in the car, and you could expect a long, <sighs> to come after it. Because they don't want to be in the car together. He's just kind of forcing it. So it's always intended to have that level of, things aren't good. Things are never happy. Things can't be happy anymore. Everything's I mean... always trying to fight off too much. I'll say that the longest, happiest moment was the car ride. That was a whole episode of happy. Like, at least I was happy during the whole entire... Like, I watched 13 all the way. Even the intro. <laughs> you said yes. you skimmed the other episodes, or...? I, no, I, like... Okay, um... Plus I wasn't did? paying attention all the way. I'll say that. And again, that's why I forgot about the pulsing. scene. I didn't binge it, though. I, I know, I know, but that's why I can already tell that. I knew Rudd was going to be like that, but I didn't expect both. I didn't binge! <laughs> Time, man, I mean, it's it's <laughs> pretty much the same thing, though, when you stop paying attention and do something else. In all honesty, yeah. I, yeah. I did do parts, but whenever the humans... Because the fact that I... Because yeah. that, that would explain that why you're coming back into it at times, and you don't like... It's because you're... Tearing yourself away when the world, when the well, world is creating, wants you to be in it. I'll be honest, I was torn away by. You know, what body part is this illusion? It can. You're trying to. The show tries to get its hooks in you and tries to keep you there. And if you constantly take yourself away from it and aren't interested in it, you're, it's going to have no effect on you. For but the I looked part. at the pretty pictures. <laughs> there you go. Uh, That's the important part. Yes. Okay, so now we're on There's, to. Uh, Darcy wolves. taking Chezza. Yep. The wolves, uh, the, that's where you basically get wolves are normal wolves. They're most likely created by something. The villain, the villain where Darcy gets all of the... Darcy finds out his wife is dead and just... Starts he completely breaks wall. down. Mm-hmm. He completely breaks down, starts bashing his head into a wall. Probably one of the best... Does the anime mouth go 50... I... The, the reason that's done... Well, that's actually a thing that's from these older shows like this. Oh, I know. Is I that they do that... Guys. It's much more abused nowadays because it's kind of just like a thing now. Yeah, but it was meant to show like you're at your peak, and now it's kind of overused a bit. I don't really yeah. like how it's used too much. Yeah, Blue like, shows up, which is probably one of my favorite characters because yeah, I love her design. Waifu. In both, I love her intro where she's trying to find work because she feels like she has to work, and somebody offers her a job, so she falls up, and she realizes a prostitute, and she's like, "No, fuck off." <laughs> But why would a wolf and then, care about selling her body? Huh? Why would a wolf care about selling her body? Because they're still people of her... What do you mean? <laughs> what, what, why don't you care about selling your body, your flesh and blood? Why didn't you just screw he made a second he said hello then? <laughs> it's the same logic behind it. I mean, she's not in heat. She, she's not... She has a huge of she, she's, she's not, not in heat. Soon. So she doesn't want to bend over for a different... Species, not a shock. 
That's I mean, Texas, would, would they get freaked out? Would they finally suddenly find she's a wolf halfway? I don't know. It, We're getting into sex be. talk. Mom may started howling, like, and then she saw him as a wolf again. Like, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. The whole uh, scene with the detective. This falls we into shouldn't the whole continue. Scene. I'm we gonna shouldn't break this. continue this. We shouldn't I'm gonna continue break this. this. The whole scene with the uh, detective going into the bar was great. <laughs> It was but amazing. It's a bit. It's a bit annoying when he goes up the back there and the guy's still there, drunk in a corner. But eh. hey, that's the, one of the best scenes in the movie. Episode man. thirteen that's is awesome. episode thirteen is road trip with yeah. probably one of the best lines that I stuck to. Like oh, different lines come out to me each time I watch this show, but this is probably the one that stuck out to me during the road trip, where the detective runs out of the car and he sees the military patrol going by Jargus's troops. And he's shitting and he gets there and he just breaks down. He's like, fuck you, what are you bastards? What are you doing? Why are you doing this? And he just starts breaking down a bit because he's really fucking stressed out because of all the shit that's happening. Yeah. And at that moment, I think at that moment, yeah, I think that's the moment, where the old man says probably one of the best li lines of the show right now, where he goes, you think the world's out to get you, that it's hiding some mystical secret from you, that, there's, that it's trying to keep everything hidden. But it's not. You're just sitting there watching the scenery go by. Which yeah. is probably one of the best lines of the show. Because it's, again, the following care. up with the theme. It's saying, like, the, you, the world sucks. This yeah, is what happens. watching it by. You really can't have an effect on it. It's not going to stop for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No one's ever going to stop and fill you in. you got to do it yourself. Darcia, Darcia is most likely dead. Because he blows up his place because he has nothing else to live for. Well, you know if he's dead or alive. No, he's dead. Okay. I'd say he's dead. I mean, we're talking... He literally blows talk, up his entire place. We're talking about if we've only seen episode 14, Poison. Stop, 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 stop telling him, like, but you know the truth. Stop You that. do know the truth. You, you, you key man of the... the stop saying to, that. He might what, be the gatekeeper of the truth. Shadow, where they, like, like, don't have him open the that gate. secrets. What? Harry Potter. Chamber Pot of Secrets. There you go. That's what you think. <laughs> so the road trip, Lord Darcia. Best episode. Lord Darcia is probably, eh. I Best say 12. Episode. I say 12 because, um, fucking. Blue. Did I not talk about it? Oh, yeah, no, we're blue. Uh, Blue's way of fighting is probably my favorite. That which is thirteen, where she has one of the best moments ever, is where the uh, the old man's about to shoot her with a shotgun, and she runs up in between and just sits down right next to him. Is probably one of the best things because that's what Blue does. Blue doesn't really want to kill humans that aren't evil or I'm mean in some way. She I'm just sits saying. down. No, she kills the fuck out of that one dude, but he was being yeah. a prick, and no one can he, argue he that. Was being a prick. He was. And like, he was being a prick because Kiba and Sume really fucked him up. Yeah. Because seeing that, like, the the whole thing of, like, they have no weapon. Like, Sume, the reason he has a weapon in his hand is because he was around humans so much. So he see, so he knows that if he starts attacking people without a weapon or without a knife, and they start getting cut, and he's just using his hands, people are going to freak out. Yeah. That's the, that's the reason Sume always has a knife. And that's yeah. the reason he looks so threatening, too. Is because he knows he has to. Otherwise, people aren't going to understand what's happening. When they get hit. So he's trying yeah. to do that to hide in. And it's why Kiba fucked that guy up so much. When Kiba attacks him. And he's like, hey, he was barehanded. How did he do this damage to me? This couldn't have possibly happened. And then he attacks Blue and yada yada. Then falls yeah. in. Yep. Episode 13. No, 14. Uh, no, this is four. That was four. That was a, that was a nine, I think. But, yeah. That was like nine and uh, the Chesa that was, that was meetup. 12. The Blue thing. Yeah, no, Evan, Blue... No, I'm talking about Blue is getting beat on by the soldier. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha. That was that was nine, and Cheza meet up with the military escape was seven, I believe. Yeah, and then she gets recaptured. Um... Yeah. Sorry, your princess is in the middle of the castle. <laughs> A bit. Um, but <laughs> next? No, we're just... A, this is basically just Lady Jarger. This is left. Lady Jarkers is kind of a nothing character at this point. She's just uh, a sideline uh, antagonistic force. Yeah, uh, which pops really out of nowhere. No, uh, she's, you can, she's you can there from earlier. She's yeah, there you, from earlier. Uh, I, don't, I don't. You can't see her. 
She just, she isn't shown yet, but she's exists. Yeah, you can kind of like hear in the conversations with the lords. Again, the moment the moment with the old man kind of applies when y'all were saying, "Well, why, why not? Why, why isn't this?" But it's one of those things with the old man where it's like you're not you're seeing the show. You're not seeing everything that's going on behind the curtain. You're only yeah. seeing what you're seeing. Yeah, which is and that's well, one of the points. Which is that, I was that, like, that was explained by my favorite character. Yeah. It was like when stuff happens, like when Jargus acts and takes actions against Darcia, he feels like he's thrown away, but he's not actually. It's because he's just in the path. She wants all wolves dead because they have wolf, air quote, bloodline. They're dead because of the gene manipulation or whatever they did yeah, to themselves. Yeah. And to make them a threat, she has to, she wants them all dead. Which is why yeah. the Darcia household's fucked up and everything's just obliterated yeah okay I, um so the end fight scene which is our uh, kind of our last eh, i guess i guess so uh darcy and are you talking about darcy and kiba which is kind of cool yeah like darcy it. and kiba or darcy again Pinto. again the show is beautiful when you're watching it it's just like darcy pulls out a blade and he's not even fighting to kill he's just defending himself really at that point and kiba's just kind of defending himself too and they're just like kind of going at each other but they're not going for any lethal strikes because Darcia doesn't know what he's doing at that point. He's still mentally shot. Yeah. Like he's, he's completely a zombie from that moment on once he realizes she's dead. Yeah. Which is why I liked how the maid was so for, Like I, I think he's been alive for a hundred years. He's been alive for a couple hundred. It's, it's the nobles are always question marks. Yeah. You could, you could literally say that this noble has been alive for a thousand years and be like, I mean, I guess. I mean, he looks old, I guess. Um, because they're meant to be that way, yeah. Uh, the thing I don't like about Darcy, uh, is that I thought that, uh, that Glasses was a shadow the whole entire time until the end. Uh. I thought that was just a shadow. You didn't realize that was an eye patch? Nope. Uh. I thought that was just a shadow, and I think... That's a very really oddly shaped shadow. I'm just <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I thought, I thought that that was some I mean, special that character was, design. That never moved when he moved. I, I mean. know. But uh, How did you not think that nose... was an eye patch? No, sometimes Siesta's <laughs> nose has an extra line for some that reason. That's matter. actually one of the things I like. The that's weird. That's actually one of the things patch. I like most about Darcia, is how his face, his his um his noble's face, his mask that he wears, only shows the eye. I really like that detail, of where he doesn't even show any of his human side. He only shows his. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I, that, but, I, yeah. I, uh, I just thought that was a shadow and I am dumb for the most, the most of the series um, and until the end of the way he took it off I'm like wow okay he looks a little better now <laughs> not, not oh. Oh, that well I mean in the yeah. beginning yeah. again that was you not that was you zoning out no uh, this I, is I a problem with you zoning out point. Like, every time he came on screen I was she, well attention. in the very first scene he puts his head down he puts his hand over his right eye I, I thought they just like I mean, a dramatic <laughs> cut to his like where it showed his eyes no I don't know <laughs> just the anime oh now you get to see the eye mm. now you get to peer past the shadow like oh, okay I still don't understand how you seen that oddly shaped shadow that never I thought moved. he had a giant <laughs> when he like, walked around. Uh, the I room. don't know what this bo shadow. What's the bone mm. called with your eyebrows on it? That's your skull poison. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a specific bone. <laughs> it's generally referred to as your entirety of your skull. There's a specific part of your skull. But I don't know what that bone's called, no. Okay, I thought he just had a really... There is, that is a specific left. part, but the overall skeletal part is your is your skull. Okay, okay, but on to the next one. Um, there is no... No, is on to the else? next, on to the next um, thing I liked about him. It's called a cha-cha. Oh. A cha-cha? Oh, thank you, Reddit. His, I thought he had a really big cha-cha. I looked it up. <laughs> and I thought he was just always encapsulated in shadow until the animated one. Joe Uzai. Um, that might have been a huge cha cha then, dude. Like, oh my lord. <laughs> that, was a, that was a very big cha cha. I mean, it would bulge out like a whole foot from his head. <laughs> like, yeah. He must have gone Super Saiyan 3 at one point. Oh, man, right? Just on his eyebrows. <laughs> okay. But um, overall, uh, I would say it wasn't a horrible one. It was very pretty. 
which is why I'm, I'm kind of like uh, was okay with it, even though I wasn't paying attention because it looked very pretty. Um, other than the one scene. Um, with the airship. Okay. Well, yes. see, my the only issue, the only time I ever had issue with the graphics with the visual was uh, the uh, part where the old the old pack leader gets beat up. <laughs> He's kind of just got red smeared over his face. That's the only time I ever noticed anything. Where they kicked him? Yeah, he's got a little bit of red smeared on. And they punched him and they kicked him. I love, I love that whole scene mm. though, where he, where he gets rally, where his whole point was like, no, I tried once, and now I'm too scared to go back there. Yeah. I'm, I know it's good. I just, uh, I just can't. That's mm. what I like about that. I well, go he on doesn't know it's like, good. That's also mm-hmm. the fear of the unknown. No, he knows. He knows. He's pretty sure he's good. Like he or she says, like you've been here long enough. You know those machines shut off. That's what she says to him. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, no. That's, and like he knows that. And he good. knows it's probably fine. But he's just too scared uh, to go back down there because he has. Uh, he saw everyone die. Yeah, like almost well, everyone die. But um, uh, with that, it's it's kind of like is what's going to be over that other side that I've never seen better than the life I have now kind of thing mm-hmm. yeah two different types of fears yeah mm-hmm. um yep yeah, so uh I, i'd give it like a five on the like overall if i had to go purely off purely uh purely i don't off think we the... should do ratings yet okay it's not mm-hmm. over yet i don't really think there's a reason to <laughs> there's no reason uh, to rate half a shell yeah uh, yeah well right now i think it's very pretty there. I, I I don't have anything wrong with the visuals. I think they designed a beautiful world. I think the artwork is really good. I even give the voice actors credit because they worked really good. Oh, yeah, good the voice the, actors are great with in this. The, with the uh, because they one of them is Lelouch. Not, not even bad. that. Not Lelouch. even that. Just the, the work they did, the way they brought the pers- the little personality in this world into it, they did a good job. Okay. Oh, no. They all did a good job. As I said, the little personality that exists in this world. I know. Dear, you don't need to voice act too. It's okay. The the characters drew out as much as they can from from our point of view, the bland main characters. Yeah, yeah exactly. And well, even even as me who loves the show, mm-hmm. I think that the detective and the um, overall story is the part that I like the most. It's just. The wolves are there to fulfill a role and to fulfill a prophecy, which is kind of the yeah, point of Darcy. They sure. exist. So, would have been more interesting if the wolves would have remained hidden and the story was told through the perspectives of the humans, who are kind There's, of like. That would have been interesting. Wow. Guys. I would have liked if they did that with like a Stein Gates kind of thing, which is a lot of thought into it. Yeah. Like, I would have liked that direction a lot better. But again, that's my opinion. Uh, I agree with that. I, I would uh, like maybe would have also made the you know, like they more. don't specifically say, and you have to trust the little sketchy word from uh, uh, Grandpa. Yeah, like it's like from the humans. You see that they get this random dog, and then all these events start happening. They start like kind of painting the picture that shit, this might be real. And that crazy old man from the first three minutes who you nearly locked up for just randomly shooting at a dog in the middle of the street. You know? Like, it just, it just changes your whole perspective on it. You know? It would have been more interesting. Would have made the wolves more interesting in general. Also, my... it kind of shows with him that uh, if you have if you have a shaky perception of the world, it mm-hmm. kind of, like, helps you see the wolves better. Because yeah, when he was would... drunk, he could see the... Well, uh... no, well, the old man, it's... It's if you're fucked up. If you're, it's if you're not on the no- normal. Because the old man who was dying, dying, and Blue comforts him mm-hmm. by sitting next to her, which is really funny. Because then the grandma must have been looking over and seen a little girl, a girl kneeling down, while an old man gently strokes her hair. Yeah, I, I, I think, uh, I think she chose not to show her human form. She might no. not. She might have went uh, into it. No, no, because she gets up and she says, "Thank you. Mm. I was enjoying that. I enjoyed that." Remember, she gets up from that scene. I don't, from that. I, I don't remember, but yeah. I do. And she gets up, she gets worse. up and says that, and then the old man says, "No, there were wolves." And then when he's talking to the when he's talking to Gramps later, oh, yeah, he's like, "No, right. no, there were wolves." And, and it was she was so nice. Around. It was like I was with my old my daughter again. And even Kiva turns around at the end. He's like, "Just so you know, we are really wolves." The old man was correct. Mm-hmm. Like he even looks at her and says at the end, "Yeah," but. 
I, I just felt like, yeah, I thought it was a beautiful world. I love that. I love a lot of the foundation work. I just, I don't know. The show put me off. I'm not gonna get into it anymore. I'm, I'm, Maybe the second yeah, half will oh. change me. Maybe the second half will change me. I, I'm, I don't think. Uh, like, Shadow, like are you poisons? gonna do a sequel with this? What? Are you? Uh, when is your turn next? Uh, you no, do... we're still doing it. We're gonna just do both parts. That's fine. Yeah, that was the. We just had to do a set. See, we um, were initially remember poison. The initial plan was to do it this weekend, last weekend, but then that kind of fell apart. Yeah, no, it was no. So we did the full week. That. Yeah, that's. I'm fine with it this way, even if we do two weeks of show. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, I don't have an issue. You know, I recommend okay. multi matches because I thought it was a good starting point, and yeah. I felt like I did. A, I picked a good one. <laughs> I'm fine with this concept, anyways, because most shows aren't going to be short like that. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we're at 13 yeah. minutes, 13 minutes, 14 minutes an episode. In fact, we're actually probably you know. going to have to look through non-spoiler walkthroughs for arcs and shit for shows we don't know that are too long. Yeah, like that would to be. see where arcs are and um, pick those out, and then do the arc and not anything else. You know. By the so way, are we like, cut this off yet? I don't think no, we, we don't cut eventually. this off. It's hard okay. to think. I can do it whenever. He can, he can I, just cut it. Like this he more can obvious. end it. He can end it whenever he. No, wants. I can just, again. I can end it wherever. It's yeah. not. It's so not difficult because I can always. If it feels weird, point. yeah, I can just, edit in my own voice. He can, like, yeah. he can completely cut that scene out as if it never happened. You know, like, he can do. He can. He can do a lot of stuff too. Okay, so uh, we have to watch more Wolfrank. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next week we're gonna the next the couple episodes are probably our filler. Next so week we're you gonna can finish the show. Next few episodes we'll skim through, but we'll finish the show next week. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and then it'll be your turn, and then you can think of what show you want. Uh, so I'm kind of <laughs> torn on how y'all are gonna view this. I don't think Rudd's opinion is gonna change much. I think I, Poisons I may. I agree with you but... here, but <laughs> I think Poisons has the opportunity to change, but I don't think mm -hmm. it really. Well, because Rudd's, I think Rudd's tried this. To watch it once or twice before I watched and just didn't. it once before i watched about four episodes yeah mm -hmm. i did and it used to be on to... um been on cartoon network in the past mm -hmm. i watched it when i was younger and i kind of had the yeah. same feeling poison's opinion might change but i'm kind of yeah. kind of dead I'm kind of, I, I thought he would be like more it. on the side of it and just not into the emotional part I I, I would think like he, he'd overlook that one stupid thing that's supposedly yeah. driving him from the show I think that's kind of dumb on his part hey you know I'm just well, saying, well that's one of the no that's a, that's a normal thing why people don't like it it's because some people just get stuck on that illusion thing too hard yeah. and they just can't get into it Whenever I see them in their that's illusion, a thing. and they do that's stuff as illusion, I'm like, how are they doing this as a wolf? Well, I agree with you. Again, it's an, it's an unbelievably like neat they, show. When they jump up and they grab something off a counter, why is it not a bunch of drool? Because they had to open up their mouth and grab it with their mouth and then move it. Why aren't their teeth marks forming in the thing as opposed to holding their hand where their mouth's supposed to be? Um, I understand the whole logic to your anger there. Like, uh, and I felt like they did spend a little bit too much time in human form. Like any time they ever spoke, they had to make them in human form. Like only humans are capable of speaking, except for the one time when Blue talked. The, they were like, more... Look, "The dog can talk." Yeah. It was kind of, it was kind of weird. Even when they were by themselves, they were talking in human form, as if we didn't know who was who, and they needed to do that to show us which character was which. So they're basically kind of saying. We don't know if you guys understand who's who, so we're making them in their human form, so you know who was who. Also, was... the animation really wouldn't play out. You would look like you were looking at still scenes because they don't move their mouths or anything when they're wolves and talking. True. So yeah. it would just be like person sitting there stationary, just speaking, and you have to assume it. it's like when Kiba speaks when mm -hmm. he's in his wolf form in the beginning, mm -hmm. and he's just it's a still shot of him. No, mm -hmm. it's not kind of to avoid that too much. And again, if you heard voices and you turned, you saw a bunch of dogs. What would that do to your perception Again, of Again, they're in the middle of a blizzard in a cave. Yeah. Okay. So but it's just the trend at that, that point. That excuse doesn't flow there, but I get what you're saying. I just, I just, you would have, you would have I, still characters not moving, just looking at each other. It would they, look they like you're watching they, a screen they, show. They still didn't really move, but, but yeah, no, I get. I mean, what you you're see saying. the lift class and stuff, so it's, it's more. Just, it just kind of, it that, that that also kind of just a, that's a very small thing. You know, that doesn't that wouldn't that doesn't change my opinion for the show either better or for worse. That's just something I kind of looked at and I'm like, um, Shadow, yeah, just kind of open weird. up uh, Total War, by the way. I've been trying to get uh, it to work. Uh, well,